I spent a big chunk of the past week thinking about the interview we did on last week's episode. Now, for those of you who missed the last show, I talked with Carrie Black, who co-wrote a children's book about grieving. And a big theme of the interview, of course, was how bad we are as a culture when it comes to talking about death. The end result of that, as Carrie pointed out, is that we're very often trying to learn about the process of grieving for the first time while we're grieving, which is a terrible time to try to learn new shit. And of course, you don't have to chew on this thought for very long before you find your culprit. Right, Because we're bad at talking about all kinds of shit as individuals. We're bad at talking about math. But that's mitigated somewhat by the fact that we just pay some other person to tell our children about math so that we don't have to remember how to divide fractions. Same with almost all the other shit that our kids need to know about. But as useful as it would be, don't expect your local school boards to adopt a mandatory unit on grieving anytime soon. How would you do that? How could you possibly lead a group of random kids through a discussion on grieving without offending somebody's religious beliefs? Now, don't get me wrong. I I know that schools do talk about grieving, right? Sometimes a kid in your class dies and you have no choice. You're forced to talk about it. And I wouldn't be all that shocked to learn that some school in one of the nation's more progressive enclaves actually does teach kids about grieving as a standard thing. But even to the extent that we do, we've got to tiptoe around all this religious bullshit the whole time. And all the most important shit to understand, the bits about the finality of death that make it so uniquely difficult to cope with are undercut already by the religious upbringing of any kid unfortunate enough to grow up being told fairy tales about heaven. This isn't an incidental problem, of course, right? You ask religious leaders and religious people and they'll say that grieving is in their magisteria. Religious leaders don't just fuck up the conversation about death. They jealously guard that conversation. And our society has, by and large, ceded it to them, right? According to our dominant culture, it's the priest, the pastor, and the rabbi's job to teach kids about death. And it's the counselor and the psychologist's job, you know, to deal with the fact that they failed. And maybe somebody out there wants to try to rescue religion from this because of the uniquely difficult nature of the subject. You know, come on, Noah, you can't give religion too much shit here. This is a really hard conversation to have, and anybody who tried to shoulder that burden would do a bad job. At least they're stepping in. But I'd submit that the problem isn't the conversation. It's who's talking. This is true, after all, every time religion tries to elbow their way into any conversation. Right. Set death aside. What's the other field of childhood education that the church tries to lay claim to most? Sex. Right. And set death aside. Where does our culture most fail our children in terms of probably educating them? Exactly. I mean, it should come as a surprise to precisely nobody that our cultural ability to talk about a subject is hampered by an organized effort to lie about that subject especially when there are multiple organizations all lying in different directions. But we have to point it out here when we're cataloging the expansive list of ways that religion harms our society. They make the difficult subjects all that much more difficult. And this is particularly noteworthy since one of the main defenses given for religion is that it's supposed to help people cope with death. No, the fuck it doesn't. You know what helps people cope with death? Talking honestly about death with them. And anything that stands in the way of that can't possibly claim to be helping. 